In reality, a spanking scene is primarily not the spanking. What is it about it? That's a question for the ages, right? So I don't, it's everything. So a f it's the details, it's the nuance. I, so I kind of, the way I describe spanking is being made up of four components specifically. So um, they are discipline, power, pain, and humiliation. And some combination of those things via spanking is the interest. And whether, like, so when I was younger, it was very discipline driven. I was really into the idea of like being in trouble and being punished. I had very toxic love with the idea of discipline and being fixed, of like someone's of rescuing and someone being saving me. Um, and then sometimes I'll be really into the idea of somebody else just being in control. As a top, I love humiliation. I like being in control as well. And then there's the aspect of this hurts. This has a physical sensation to it, right? There's a masochism, sadism element to it. Um, but what it is that I like about it is an odd question in the sense of it's, it's everything about it. Um, I can't imagine not being interested in it. So therefore, like individual aspects of it aren't more appealing than others. Okay, this may be a little bit personal, right? Go so then it. after after you do a spanking, right? Well, then do you then have sex afterwards? Or is there just there's no sex involved in this at all? So I'm not interested in sex. And I have never been interested in sex. So um, to a lot of people, when they hear about fetishes or, or kinks or BDSM or spanking, or all these things, they kind of assume that it's um like dessert right it's the or an appetizer right and it's it's the whole meal i'm married my wife and i like give it a little pat on the bottom but when does going from a pat on the bottom to like spanking to like whoa that's some spanking like where did how does this progress that's a great question so i'd say you're sort of like typical average like beginner spanking would be with just with a hand over someone's knee like on a sofa or in a chair and probably on bare bottom so without clothes and go for a minute or two like a couple minutes to the point that the bottom would be feeling kind of like squirming and in pain but not so much pain that they're trying to get away if that makes sense. There's, it's just the, the phrase, it's a spanking, it's supposed to hurt, right? Like that always is gonna apply. Um, but you can definitely do spanking at a level of just casual, playful, not taking very long, and just kind of, you end up with a nice warm, rosy feeling and you're happy and gone. Two, like, uh, you know, I can beat someone with a strap for an hour. So, uh, like I could take a belt to somebody for like an hour. In reality, a spanking scene is primarily not the spanking. It's the scolding, the lead up, the rituals of all the things, and then a bit of the like aftercare and the comfort and the cuddles and the forgiveness. And the spanking can sometimes take up very little of it, um, like the, the physical action, or it can take up a ton of it. That made, did that make any sense? It does. It's the whole situation, right? It's the, you're going to get spanked. I'm about to do it. You're in trouble. Here it comes. Did you learn your lesson, right? I kind of get that. Whole... Exactly. Yeah. The, I think that's where a lot of times people that aren't into spanking or aren't into any fetish, right? It's those details that people that are like obsessed. It's, I mean, in some way, people that have a hobby and then there's, you meet somebody that like has like an obsession with this hobby, yeah. right? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm into, I don't know, Pokemon or something. And then somebody's like, oh, do you know about this like third generation with like card that only you can get, like, you know what I mean? Where it's like really, really detailed. Best thing to spank someone with, worst thing to spank someone with. Okay. Best thing. There's a lot of things. I've spanked people with ludicrous things. I've spanked someone with a fire hose. I've spanked someone with a ceiling fan. I've spanked someone with photos. 
Like I, we, Spankos, we're, they're called pervertibles. We are really good at it. Um, best things, a traditional hairbrush or a wooden spoon. Those are like the easiest. They're hard to fuck up or harder to fuck up. Um, and they're very traditional, which I really enjoy both as a top and bottom. There's like a, a sort of like maternal feeling to them, a very punitive feeling to them. They hurt like heck. Um, worst thing would be anything that has sharp edges. Okay. But how did you logistically do it with a boat oar? <laughs> like that's the one, like I'm always fascinated by logistics and like, where did yeah. you get the boat oar? Uh, how did you find the room for it? Cause that's. It was outside. So that one was an outside scene and it was in Florida and somebody that had like a canoe. And so it was like the boat oar, the canoe. Oh no, I did another boat oar scene with somebody actually in a hotel room. Uh, it used to give yourself a lot of space. So the person was like laying down and then you kind of like measure it out and kind of go like this. And and a lot of things like that, the big implements, it's like the it's like golf, right? They say, let the club do the work, right? It's the, let the implement do the work. A, a boat oar is really heavy. I do not yeah, need not to easy. swing a boat oar. I can just kind of raise a boat oar and let it fall in a controlled manner onto a butt. And then you kind of, ramp it up and ramp it up and ramp it up. Butters are really thuddy, so people, they can be really, really yummy.